asset management continues to be one of the primary concerns of organizations all over the world. Why? Assets drive businesses. Modern businesses rely heavily on physical assets to sustain effectively. The asset management process also helps businesses derive more value from an asset and achieve business goals. While the concept of asset management has been in existence for several decades, it continues to be an ever-evolving domain. So, it is critical to keep pace with the evolution and adapt to changes on the fly. How well firms embrace change will determine which prosper in the years ahead. This guide takes a closer look at the asset management definition, the current state, why you should invest in it, the deliverables it offers, and even a forecast of how it might evolve in the coming years. Welcome to this wealth building channel. Watch the full video to learn more about asset management. What is asset management? Asset management is the process of planning and controlling the acquisition, operation, maintenance, renewal, and disposal of organizational assets. This process improves the delivery potential of assets and minimizes the costs and risks involved. Adequate maintenance and proper deployment of systems, people, and processes ensure a positive enhancement of capital over the asset life cycle. What is asset life cycle? Asset life cycle is the number of stages that an organization's asset goes through during the lifespan of an asset's ownership. It is the period that an organization can effectively and efficiently utilize an asset to accomplish its business goals. An asset life cycle typically covers all phases of an asset's life from acquisition through maintenance and eventual disposal. Types of asset management While the definition of asset management may differ from one organization to another, it can be vastly classified into three types, physical, financial, and contractual. Physical asset management stands for the process of handling things like fixed asset management, inventory management, infrastructure, and public asset management. Financial asset management refers to the process of managing procurement, developing an investment strategy, controlling budget and costs, and handling cash, bonds, and stocks. Contractual compliance streamlines processes like at asset management, digital asset management, contractual maintenance, and management of intangible assets. Pain points in managing company assets. Some of the biggest issues facing asset management are the hurdle of monitoring, and managing existing assets manually. When your assets have been on the grid for years, they can end up as a loss or worse, compromised. Understanding asset management. Asset management has a double-barreled goal, increasing value while mitigating risk. That is, the client's tolerance for risk is the first question to be posed. A retiree living on the income from a portfolio or a pension fund administrator overseeing retirement funds is risk-averse. A young person or any adventurous person might want to dabble in high-risk investments. Most of us are somewhere in the middle and asset managers try to identify just where that is for a client. The asset manager's role is to determine what investments to make or avoid to realize the client's financial goals within the limits of the client's risk tolerance. The investments may include stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, alternative investments, and mutual funds, among the better-known choices. The asset manager is expected to conduct rigorous research using both macro, and microanalytical tools. This includes statistical analysis of prevailing market trends, reviews of corporate financial documents, and anything else that would aid in achieving the stated goal of client asset appreciation. Types of asset managers. There are several different types of asset managers, distinguished by the type of asset and level of service that they provide. Each type of asset manager has a different level of responsibility to the client, so it is important to understand a manager's obligations before deciding to invest. Registered Investment Advisors A registered investment advisor is a firm that advises clients on securities trades or even manages their portfolios. RIAS are closely regulated and are required to register with the SEC if they manage more than $100 million in assets. Investment Broker A broker is an individual or firm that acts as an intermediary for their clients, buying stocks and securities and providing custody over customer assets. Brokers generally do not have a fiduciary duty to their clients so it is always important to thoroughly research before buying. Financial Advisor A financial advisor is a professional who can recommend investments to their clients or buy and sell securities on their behalf. Financial advisors may or may not have a fiduciary duty to their clients, so it is always important to ask first. Many financial advisors specialize in a specific area, such as tax law or estate planning. Robo-advisor The most affordable type of investment manager isn't a person at all. A robo-advisor is a computer algorithm that automatically monitors and rebalances an investor's portfolio according to selling and buying investments according to programmed goals and risk tolerances. Because there is no person involved, robo-advisors cost much less than a personalized investment service. How much does asset management cost? 
asset managers have a variety of fee structures. The most common model charges a percentage of the assets under management, with the industry average at about 1% for up to $1 million and lower for larger portfolios. Others may charge a fee for each trade they execute. Some may even receive a commission to upsell securities to their clients. Because these incentives can work against the client's interests, it is important to know if your management firm has a fiduciary duty to serve the client's interests. Otherwise, they may recommend investments or trades that do not serve the client's interests. How Asset Management Companies Work Asset management companies compete to serve the investment needs of high net worth individuals and institutions. Accounts held by financial institutions often include check writing privileges, credit cards, debit cards, margin loans, and brokerage services. When individuals deposit money into their accounts, it is typically placed into a money market fund that offers a greater return than a regular savings account. Account holders can choose between federal deposit insurance company backed funds and non FDIC funds. The added benefit to account holders is all of their banking, and investing needs can be met by the same institution. What is Digital Asset Management? Digital Asset Management, or DAM, is a process of storing media assets in a central repository where they can be accessed as necessary by all members of an organization. This is usually used for large audio or video files that need to be worked on by many teams of employees at once. What are assets under management? Assets under management, or AUM, refers to the total value of the securities in the portfolio of a brokerage or investment firm. The bottom line, asset management firms provide the service of buying and selling assets on behalf of their clients. There are many types of asset managers, with some working for family offices and wealthy individuals and others working on behalf of major banks and institutional investors. Subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content. Your subscription, support, and feedback are much appreciated.